Hey, hey, all you Twisted Truckers, how's it going? Here's Quasar here, and we're back at it with another American Truck Simulator episode. Today, we are driving a, well, we're hauling a bulldozer from Redding, California to Eureka. And, uh, oof, all right, <laughs> that light was short, man. Holy crap. Anyway, um, getting paid about six grand for this, uh, so not too too bad of a payout um, as you can see I've made hundred fourteen thousand dollars I'm getting really close to being able to buy my own truck at this point which I'm pretty happy and pretty excited about doing even though I'm not looking forward to paying for all the gas prices that's for sure but uh, we'll see how that plays out once I get my own truck I'll probably uh, <clears throat> get a a little bit more of a nest egg before I go buy my own truck. Um, we did come across that was it West Star Star Western another truck company that I've got a hold of or got a uh, a, pl um, des a designated area for I guess um, another shop that I can I can uh, shop at. But I think I'm gonna go with the Kenworth uh, once I get. Um, a little more bank up and going. So how's everyone go? How's everyone doing? This is uh, oh look at that. That's that's pretty. Um, hope everyone's doing fine. Ooh, I'm going a little fast here. I'm trying not to keep my keep my fines down to a minimum. Um, last few jobs I've uh, got caught speeding. <laughs> I had a car actually run into me which caused me to have the um, the violation for however that works out I was midway through a turn and he pulled into the intersection and hit me how does that how does that happen he was moving he had stopped I was you know I was going for it so I don't know Uh, let's get over in this lane. Straight on. I'm gonna sunk by heart. I hear a train. Alright. So yeah, I have uh, used some of my skill points. Look at this Mustang. This Mustang was going to come out and I look in my mirror. Um, that's pretty much what happened the last time. He pulled out right in front of my trailer. I was already going through the intersection. Your train. Ah, it must be over there. So yeah, that just kind of kind of ticked me off, to be quite honest with you, because it cost me like 430 bucks for the traffic violation, and it wasn't even my fault. So, all right, hauling this bulldozer. This guy in front of me needs to speed up just a little bit faster. Hey, look at that old car there. Hmm. Home slice in the Camaro got pulled over. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, it looks like we may have some storm clouds up ahead. Am I going to run into some rain? Speed limit is 55 through here, and this guy's slowly but surely coming up to speed. I'm going to throw my cruise control on. And I'm going to run into the back of this truck because he did not prepare to hit this hill like I did. Whoa, bro, that was, that was something else. Guess I better stay on my side of the line. Man, he's way back there. He must have a heavier load than I have. So yeah, slowly but surely building up the bank and the rep. Whoa, I'm gone out wide. <laughs> a 
Oh, I bet that guy's butt puckered her. Woohoo. Alright. Now we're gonna go down the hill. Still trying to figure out a few things, like how to sleep. Um, had to read up on that because it didn't seem like it was allowing me to sleep on one of the trips. I was, it was, it was, I was dead tired. I was dead tired and almost, almost out of gas. Luckily, I had, I found a place to fill my tank. Um, right near, like probably the last what 20 miles of my, of my journey. And uh, I was I was running on fumes, totally running on fumes, and had to get gas. Ooh, speed limit is 25. Holy crap! Go straight on. Oh, see that? I swear to God, those guys are going to pull right out in front of me. What are you guys doing over there? Oh well. Heading to Eureka. I'm trying to cap trying to get to every city in California. Um, there's still a few I find it a little difficult to get to, like Hilt is all the way north. I can get up there some. So Eureka was the next best thing. Looks like everybody's out hiking, hiking in the hills here. I'm all about that. I could have done that. I'm not parking my truck to go hiking by no means, but. Doesn't look like I have any traffic behind me, so that's a good thing. What is this? A national forest? Yes. Okay, I gotta slow my roll here. Even more. Crap, I was doing 36. I thought for sure he was gonna nail me. Can't tell if he's behind me or not. Really sucks in these these tall hills. You get, you get enough speed, you're good to make it up the hill. But when you're coming through a town like that, man, you're already at a disadvantage. So back to the sleep. I get it if you. I've got a day cab. Uh, oh, crossing the line here. I get it if you're a day cab, you have to go to like a hotel or something. But if you have like a, a, a sleeper, you can just pull over anywhere and sleep, I would imagine. Or you have to be at a rest area, maybe. So I'm not sure how that works. Oh, crap. Yeah, I saw that coming. Kind of kissed that. Kiss that grill. Ooh. Oh, you guys are killing me. Home Slice up there has nothing on his trailer and he's going super slow. All right. That kind of hurt me.
One percent damage. I bet these this this trucking company's not gonna want to hire me back. Oh my. Oh, Jesus. Rubber necker. Oh, my gosh. All right. There we go. Oh, my destination. I can see my destination. It's right up here. Get ready to turn left. Haha, <laughs> I'm on a dirt road. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm kicking up some dust behind me. There is no speed limit on this road, my friend. Get to make it up this hill. Oh my gosh. I'm out in the booties, man. Alright, I'm gonna go easy. I'm just gonna go easy with this. Uh, what's hard? Parking it in there. Now we'll go easy. Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm moving. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right, let's get a top down view of this bad boy here. Gotta learn how to turn these wheels, man. There we go. We're getting it. All right. All right, so it took me a little bit, but we got it. All right, 188 miles, five hours, 39 minutes. Uh, consumed about 40 gallons. I'm making it up to level nine, slowly but surely. All right, so now we are in Eureka. Let's see if we can find some jobs out of Eureka. Um, Eureka's way up here, right? So we're gonna go to Eureka to Truckee. Where's Truckee? I haven't been through there yet. Um, I'm trying to get up to Hilt. Um, just to knock that out. I don't see hills anywhere in here. Uh, Truckee is nine grand. 28 bucks. Uh, let's go to Redding. 
I mean, I could go to Reading at 30 bucks a mile, but I think I'm going to go to Truckee because I'd like to see what Truckee has to offer. Um, all right, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's take the job. It's a long haul, man. Oof. <sighs> Sawdust panels. Uh, that doesn't sound very prestigious at all. They're wholesome sawdust panels. Good grief. Maybe something better, like, you know, Toys for Tots or something. I don't know. Anything but sawdust panels. Heck, I'd rather haul buttermilk. <laughs> Grief. Well, it's another 10 grand, so as long as I don't hit anything, I'll be okay. All right. And we're out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it just looks like I have a. Got a Western Star. We're driving a Western Star, and that's actually one of the one of the dealers that I've just unlocked. So that's a good thing. Ah, uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, got a little bit of a sleeper, kind of plain, but I guess it'll work out. Why do I have this sneaking suspension suspicion that this is going to be one of the horrible? All right, I gotta get out of this, out of these, out of these city streets, because I have a tendency just to run over things. Go straight on. All right, downtown Eureka. And we're going to, what, Tucky or Truckee? Something like that, right? Hey, it's another city I have not been to yet, so I'm happy to go. Another thing about getting my own truck is I can be, like, freewheeling. I can drive anywhere I want to. That would be, that would be kind of cool. Oh, yellow light, red light, damn. <laughs> Good grief. problem is, is by the time it turns I mean it turns green by the time you get up any mom momentum to get halfway through the intersection it's already turning green on you or red on you Oh, I got this Yahoo. All right, Yahoo. I think I've got that police officer tailing me. I can't tell for sure, but I think he's back there. Limits 50. Keep right and exit right, huh? Exit stage right. Uh, I think it was just a van.
looks like I may get a, need to get a little gas for this trip. So I am going to look for a gas station. Go ahead and fuel up next time I get a chance. Oh, this is going to be scary. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, ran out of road real quick. Well, at least I didn't get a traffic violation for it. Oh, the hills of California, you gotta love them. What the? This guy just about ran my ass off the road. Oh my goodness, I think, I think I just need to run him off the road just for the sake of doing it. He has screwed me up. Well, at least I avoided a, a traffic fine. Another red Mustang. They must love their Mustangs out here. Vista Point. See, I would love to, when I take my own truck, I'm going to love to be able to drive around and check out some of these points of interest right now it's about the almighty dollar trying to catch get some cash okay there's a gas station there but I don't have see any way to pull in there so we're gonna bypass that bad boy Come on, son, get that GT moving. It's a beautiful countryside, man. Oh, man, I cannot look around. I have seen a lot of police officers on this route more than any other route I think I've been on. My important cargo of sawdust panels must be on time. Ranger Station. Nice. Oh, Mustang got out of my way, thank God. The home store. All right, 55 it is. We're back up and at it.
See, now there's a rest area. But I'm not tired yet. Thought I had a good run. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought the road ran out. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Got around him. Whew. Not one fender nicked. Amazing. Ooh. That's not good. He's tailing him. Man, I got five hours of this left, this windy road. This reminds me of a road in Lynchburg. Lynchburg, Virginia or West Virginia? I'm not sure. I think it was a West Virginia. Man, that road was so windy. Oof. Oops. Jeez. I think I took out a sign. <laughs> Oops. It's not red, Mr. Police Officer. Let's move. Got a little close to that sign. That kind of hurt. I mean, it is right there in the... I think I took it out again. I think I took it out with a trailer this time. I couldn't tell back there. The sun sits behind me. Police officer is sticking to that guy. I was hoping you would have turned off or something. Man, I didn't even see the speed limit there until the very last second. Damn, I was hoping I was jumping on the highway. And that guy went out wide, but I didn't go out that wide. Somebody's hawking. Are they hawking at me? Somebody's honking. Can't be for anything I'm doing. I'm good. 44 East. Good thing I have GPS, because uh, I think it would have been... <sighs> this guy stopped short. Screwed me up. Ooh, is that a gas station there? Not really. Can't get in there. Nope. 
There we go. It's a drag race. Oh my gosh, do I have a, do I see 65? Can I do 65? No, 55. Ah, uh, oh well. I was hoping they'd get me up into 65 range so I could travel through here pretty quick, but I guess not. One of my trips I did, I missed the exit. It took me so far out of the way. Oh my gosh. That's the, that was the time I was running out of gas. All right, so I see no gas stations right in the immediate area, so I'm gonna move on. See if I can find someplace else. I'm getting a little tired, but I'm good. Ah, uh, there's some field stops there. I should have stopped at. Dang. All right. I've got four hours left and about a quarter of a tank of gas. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. I was actually just hoping for some place where I could right off the exit that I could get to. I like being able to get jump right off the exit and right back on without any issues. May not have this opportunity. Wow, it is pitch dark out here. Uh, way station bypass service. Okay, you can bypass. All right, cool. I mean, come on, sawdust panels. Man, it is super dark. Where's my brights at? Put my turning signal on just as I looked back and saw that guy behind me. He's coming back up the other side. Ah. Uh, We'll place to eat up here and fuel yeah we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take this exit and we're gonna get some fuel just for the giggles I was hoping to have it on this side of the street but Man, this place is dead. Poof. Almost clipped that guy. All right, Hildegard, I am going to. Oh, you needed to stop there, bro. Okay, let's find a new route. Oh crap, red light vent. Oh my goodness. 
Jeez, I'm so worried about everything else. Okay. Jesus. What the heck did I just do? All right. Guess I'm gonna go over here and refuel. Jeez. Oh my goodness. So screwed that up. I feel like that's a tight squeeze in there. Oh, stop the engine. I can hear the crickets out here. All right. What the heck? All right, I don't think I'm going to, this bad boy's gonna make it through here. All right, let's try to get out of here in one piece. This thing's already, ah, red light. See if I can squeeze my butt through there. Yep. Jesus. Where was the cop at? Go straight on. I can't believe I ran that red light. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to read that back. I'm gonna have to look at that again. I feel like I got kind of got ripped off. Oh well. So much for a nine thousand dollar payout. I don't think I damaged the trailer too much back there. I think I tried to drive it over a wall. I saw a shrub back there, but. All right. Just the fun-filled adventures of First Quasar trying to drive a tractor trailer across the state of California. Well, I've got a full tank, so I'm not going to worry about that. You see how the cost of that? Woohoo. That's why I'm like worried about owning my own truck. Holy cow. It's going to be it's going to be difficult. It will be difficult for me to try to figure that out. It's going to be a nice I'm going to have to balance that out. All right, back on the road again. Oh, man, it do be dark out here. Let's see, I plan on being at my destination at 2.44, it looks like. So, a few more hours. Ah, I'm about halfway through my needing sleep zone. I'll be able to make it. Not a big deal. That is a rest area. Myself down to down to a good speed here. I guess I'm going to try this rest area thing. Okay, let me see. Got fuel. I'll find a new route. Fine, I'll find a new route. Turn left. 
Whoa, trucks and trailers this way. So, if I were to Okay, I'm in the parking lot. Ah, oh, enter to rest. Okay. All right. Ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, I am. I am awake, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed. All right, I'm getting the gist of this. Did did sleep a little bit longer than I expected to, but that's all right. All right, on the road we got two, almost three hours left on the road. This should be nothing, a nothing sandwich right here. Just got to get my Western Star up to speed, and we're good to go. So I've already kind of decided my first truck is going to be the Kenworth Day Cab truck. Um, I've got uh, I've got my financial advisor, Ryan Peterson from RPM Games, let me know what I should be putting my skill points on. Ah, nice train over there. Um, so I do have that, and I'll show you where I've got them here in a few minutes after I make this delivery. <sighs> and then uh, the day cab is going to be my my first truck, and then I'll customize it from there, it sounds like. Um, I will say, uh, once I get my day cab, you'll see that it is decorated nicely, and we'll have a nice livery, livery courtesy of Ryan at RPM Games. So yeah, I cannot wait to get that bad boy on the road. Did kind of suck I went to that red light, but man, I did not I did not see the red light. I was so busy, so focused on trying to figure out where to pull in for the gas station. Um, to get fuel that I totally did not see the light Again as we would say uh, That was a human performance error Okay, I said stay right Okay, keep left that's what I thought you said We've got ourselves a clover leaf here. Come on, Subaru, or whatever you are. go <sighs> all right so I almost jumped the wall with the trailer ran a red light man this this but I did pick up some fuel boss picked up the tab and I got some sleep so we are doing well it's a good thing this package this these uh, sawdust walls don't need to be there at any particular time. Trucker's like 76 miles away. Good grief. 
Oh no, and we've got hills. Great. Sit back and enjoy the view, boys and girls. Yeah, I always run my trucks in automatic because there's just no way in heck I'm going to try to figure out how to, how to shift. Oh my. Let me put my hazards on. <laughs> My goodness. I think I can run faster than this. <sighs> Why did I pick Tucker? Twenty miles an hour. Oh, oh, we're starting to pick up a little bit of speed here. There we go. We've we've topped the hill. Get ready to go down the hill and pick up a whole lot of speed. Hopefully, I don't have any more hills between here and there. I've got an hour and 12 minutes, 54 miles to go. Whew. Climbing that hill just seems like it just takes forever. Chilling through the countryside. Good thing I don't have anything happening at the garage today. <laughs> Another rest area. I probably could have hit that one too. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Downgrade for the next five miles. Yay. Considering it took me a month of Sundays to get up that hill, and it'll only take me a half a Saturday to get down. I'm gonna ramp it up a little bit. Truckee, one mile. All right. Welcome to Truckee. Truckee, California. Donner Lake. Let's go do some fishing at Donner Lake, shall we?
Ooh, ooh. De dang. <laughs> oh man, I tried to cut him off. <sighs> dang. This is a bad this is a bad day for me. <laughs> thought I had him. I thought I had it. Where am I in a residential area? What? This is interesting. Nice little town. Kind of like it. All right, jeez. Look at that, down to 118, 118K. I am just doing so well. Ooh, that camera oh, felt like that camera would come real close. Plaster and sons. Okay, so I gotta do a big old turn left and left. Turn left. That's what I thought. Can I make the fence? Oh, oh, look at that. All right. Where do you want it, sir? I guess I'm just going to take it. What's that? Uh, yeah, we're going to put it right there. I'm not going to play around. Oof, I knocked down the stop sign. Ouch. And done. All right. Well, that will conclude it for today. <laughs> okay. Proficiency bonus. Uh, long distance delivery bonus. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Look at that. Uh, experience is up. How much money do I have? I have 128K. Now, just for real quick, just for... Uh, just for giggles, let me go to the Kenworth dealership. Uh, let's visit online. And the Kenworth W900 uh, day cab. What's the difference between the two? Uh, that's 115. That's. Ah, uh, the fuel tanks are a little bit different. Day cab. They're both the, they're both the 900. So actually, I could pay for that one right now. But uh, 150 to 200. So it's got 200 gallon tank. Uh, let's see, 370 horsepower, 455. So this is going to be my bad boy right here that I'm going to look to get. So 129, 129k, and uh, we've got uh, 128 of it. So yeah, I should be able to buy a truck here real soon. So. I hope you're sticking around for that. In the meantime, I hope you guys keep it between the lines. This is Hirsch Quasar saying good night, everyone, and I am out.